Welcome to Computer Science Connect series. This is the first video of the series and we'll be starting with the roots of computer science. From where did this subject come or from where this field emerged? So let's take science. What is science in general? Whatever is existing in this world or even the world itself. The knowledge about the existing things or the existing world is actually science. When you find something about whatever is existing, we call it as discovery. And we find something new, we call it as invention. In science, we have both discovery as well as invention. It means only when you discover something, you will be able to invent the other thing. Now we will see how science can be divided. We will term it as branches of science. I am just dividing it into two branches. One is natural science and other one is formal science. Natural science is whatever is existing by nature and formal science is about abstract structures and these are not based on physical objects. They are not actually existing but you can use them. In this case you can take something like a song. You are listening to a song. A song is existing. Can you touch the song or can you see the song? You cannot see them but you can feel them how you can feel the tune of the song using orchestra so here formal science is about the melody not the instrument so you can touch the instrument you can play the song this is not abstract structure but melody is abstract structure i am trying to tell you how abstract structures will be so in one tamil movie i guess the movie name is muri there will be a deaf and dumb girl who would have never experienced music in her life. So the hero of the movie, he will keep the speakers in front of the girl and the girl will be asked to hold the front of the speakers. When he starts playing music, she could feel some vibrations in her hand. So the music is existing, though it is not a physical object, the vibration is felt in her hands only through the orchestra. Orchestra in the sense any instrument. So due to the speaker's effect, she will get vibration in her hand. So abstract structure is something you cannot feel the presence of. And one more example related to science. So let's take geometry. There are lots of shapes. But how do you understand shapes? How do you fix that something is square, something is round or something is in triangle? They have given a geography related example here. There is something called continental drift theory. You can see the map before. You don't have any specific shape for the continents. But once the earth's continents are separated, you have separate shape for each continent. The drifting across the ocean bed will give rise to different shapes and those shapes will define the boundary of a particular continent. As for here, you can see North America, South America, Africa. You cannot visualize geometry unless and until you see something in a picture. When you throw a stone at the river, you can see ripples creating here. And when there is no other noise accompanying it, you can feel the sound. So how do you feel the sound? Only using the physical object. So such a science is formal science. You can realize the science through other things, but in reality, you cannot realize those abstract structures. So we have two classifications under natural science, namely life science and physical science. We have one classification in formal science called mathematics. What is life science? The study about the living things is life science studying about living things and the living process. Here we are listing only biology as a part of life science, in fact ecology, the environment part and sociology, the study of human psychology or human behavior, the study about humans, everything comes under life science. When you have life, there is a process associated with it, everything will come under life science. But for this video, I am restricting it to biology. Then what is physical science? Now I have told about living things here. Now there are also non-living things or existing things in this earth. So those things come under physical science. So we are again restricting it to physics and chemistry. But apart from this you will also have astronomy, earth science and everything. So studying about the earth, the sky, the space, everything is covered in physical science. But we are restricting it to physics and chemistry for this video. You can ask me then what about earth science, why it is not included? 
Earth is also a part of physics in my opinion because you are studying about some kind of existing things. So it is also a physical object. Earth is having life because of many elements, but Earth itself is an object. Then do we have any classification under mathematics? We don't have, but people used to divide mathematics as pure mathematics and applied mathematics. And even in science, you can take the natural science part as pure science. So they will totally say pure science contains physics, chemistry, botany and zoology. So here we are doing it in the form of existing things and abstract things. So we are not getting into pure versus applied concept here. Many people I have seen them classifying formal science into mathematics, logic, statistics and computer science theory will also be branching out. But here formal science is actually mathematics. In mathematics, you have something called applied mathematics where you use it for real life. There you can apply statistics, logic and etc. So as for now, let's keep it with mathematics. These are all pure science in our opinion, right? Now, when you want to apply them, these signs become applied signs. So what is applied signs? When there is a scientific knowledge, this scientific knowledge is what we are so far seeing as signs. When science is applied in practical application, when science is applied to real world issues, there we call them as applied science. Application of science to real world problem solving is applied science. So this applied science is where actually computer science will sit. Now we will get into the title of the video. So what are the roots of computer science? Computer science is a part of science. It takes real world problem solving from the scientific knowledge that it has gathered from natural science, formal science. All the existing science knowledge are needed if you want to be a master in computer science and most people will be knowing mathematics is most important for computer science. The reason is computers were created basically for computation tasks similar to a calculator. More and more computation tasks were given to the computers first. So they relied heavily on mathematics. But now they take application from biology, they take from physics and chemistry too. So astronomy related technical advancements, genetic algorithm and the wholesome package called artificial intelligence. Everything is depending on both natural science as well as formal science. So man-made description, mathematical description will be given by formal science while whatever is existing in nature will be given by natural science. These science together when they find some real world application, we are having the field called computer science. The root of computer science is science. It has come from science. It has its own theories. It has its own formulations. It has its own contents to describe. But on the whole, this computer science is a part of applied science and it takes all the basics, all the foundations from max, bio, physics and chemistry. Now I would like to tell you one thing in the computer science connect series before getting into a concept of computer science, we will always peep into a science concept and from there we will be deriving a particular computer science concept. So you will definitely see the connect in the upcoming weeks so that you will really understand which concept is derived from which part of science. We will continue the series in the next video. Thank you viewers.